Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Fairy Loots here. It actually arrived over the weekend, but I was at Comic Con, um, so I couldn't do it because I wasn't here. Um, so let's crack on. Get into this. Not that I can, because it's packed quite tightly, it seems. Ooh, we've got some interesting things, so let's sneaky peek. What is this? I'm curious. Got a little pouch, and there's a load of plastic things in them. Are they bag clips? Oh my god, I think they are. So we've got these. Can't really see. Drink once, eat once. Oh my god, are these Alice in Wonderland? Eat once, drink once. Oh my god, I think they are. They're Alice in Wonderland. And I think you I actually have no idea. I'm gonna break Ah, there we go. You pop it off and then I think you put like the little baggy in like that and then this is not gonna work because it's velvet and then pop it back on and it keeps it those are cool those are so useful i like them so what have we got happily ever after spoon designed by at blanket design so we've got this sorry the lighting's not very good today what is what is Oh, is a mushroom spoon. It's ceramic as well, and it's got happily ever after written on the side. That's adorable. I want a matching mug. Just saying, fairy loot, I think. We need a set. There's like some weird sticky thing on the back. Oh well. That's cute. And this is the card. Oh, what is this? We've got, for a minute, I thought the book was like not in a bag. It's very shiny, very pretty. Oh, okay. I think they actually mentioned this. It's like a photo album or. First of all, I'm holding this upside down and back to front. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter, but like based on the thing. Da -da! It's a thing to put your art cards in. That is amazing because I have been tucking them in my books, but we did get one a few months ago, which was Seven Faceless Saints, um, where the book was actually a small hardback and, um, the art card and the theme card didn't fit in it so that is super awesome i like that that is great what is this emily wild overlays okay i loved the encyclopedia of fairies so what have we got in here oh they're like artwork things which is kind of weird they're like clear so I don't know what you would put these on. They're pretty cool, but for me, an overlay is to like read or something. So, like, as you can see, it's got the background, whatever's behind it. I don't know what I'd use these for, but these are pretty cool and I like the artwork. And it's got the doggo, who is like MVP of that book really <laughs> no spoilers um i like them i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with them i will figure something out probably okay um what what is this the forest grim embroidery kit no way they've actually given out like an embroidery thing so i am starting to learn embroidery because I've just got like a fancy new embroidery machine 
I hurt my eye at Comic Con, so I'm like one eyed properly at the moment. So, like, and I actually got that's so pretty. And then there's like an envelope with stuff in. Ah, so that's what it's going to end up looking like. This package includes an instruction leaflet, one embroidery cloth, three needles, and thread. Oh, that cloth doesn't feel great. Okay, so we've got we've got our base cloth. I'm not going to open this too much because this is going to go everywhere and Tink is in here and she does love a bit of thread. So we've got that in there. Um, that's pretty cool. Wait, where were the needles? Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to try and do this real carefully. Oh, they're looped. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Lovely. So, we've got our needles three different times. No, they're all the same. We've got our threads. So, this is going to be predominantly a lot of black. And we have the pattern that you follow, I guess. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm going to have to be real careful with that because she will get involved and then we've got our instructions well what we're supposed to sort of do and i guess it tells you the order draw equally spaced parallel lines in the shape i don't know what a french knot is this is going to take some doing, um, but I'm going to give it a go because it seems quite fun and that's a pretty cool idea. I feel like a lot of people are probably going to rag on this, um, but I like it. I think that's super fun. Not something to do with cats around. I'm using my little loopy. Um, no, I like that. I think that is a really cool, fun thing and... Because I love sewing, because I'm a cosplayer, so, like, how does, this is like a little windy thing. Oh, so it's a screw. This is a proper nice embroidery hoop, like a proper old-fashioned one. I like that. I hope this becomes a regular thing for him, I'm not gonna lie. Like, as a cosplayer, I like sewing, and um, I started off <laughs> hand-stitching when I made my costumes. So a lot of the costumes that I made uh, originally when I first started out were all hand sewn. Not fun. Do not recommend for costumes. But I found it quite therapeutic. So that is really neat. I think that's my favourite item, not gonna lie. Um, coupled with the mushroom spoon. We've got the four of moons and the three of moons. I recognise these characters but I don't. I'm probably going to kick myself when I read the card. Let's get the book out so we don't risk spoilers from the cheat sheet like last time. We have got the bookmark. We've got the fairy scoop. We've got the art card with the author's letter on the back. And we have got... Oh! Oh! That makes sense! I love that cover. The Forest Grim. Well, Once Upon a Dark Time, The Forest Grim by Catherine Purdy. <gasps> oh my god, do you this? Okay, so I was a little bit disappointed when I saw it because it was black on the top and black on the bottom. And as I've just gone like that, look at them. Is that not stunning? I love it and like the stars are shiny oh my god I love this book I'm loving everything about it tell me again grandma grandma the story of how I die oh oh god fairy you have like gone out for this okay so we've got the undercover like the hardback uh 
going to even attempt to pronounce that. We have got the side cover, spine, and the back cover looking pretty nice with some mushrooms. And then we've got a reversible dust jacket kind of thing. Looks pretty cool. Can't now see what I'm doing, but here we go. It's looking nice. And we've got artwork. These are shiny, you can't really see, but on the actual hardback, there you go. It's shiny. Have we got a different one on the back? Have we? We have. We have. Very nice. This looks so pretty. I'm hoping the description is going to be good because it's going to be a shame to have gone out all out on a book that sounds boring, but I'm sure it won't be. Okay, so. Once upon a time, villagers would whisper their desires to the Book of Fortunes and its pages would reveal how to obtain them. All was well until someone used the book for evil. Afterwards, branches of the forest grim snatched the book away and the village withered. The villagers tried to make amends with the forest, but every time someone crossed its border, they never returned. It's a good start. I'm liking this already. Despite the warning from her fortune teller grandmother, Clara embarks on a journey into the deadly forest to procure the Book of Fortunes, to reverse the curse and save her mother and village. Clara's friend Axel puts aside his longing for her to join the journey. The young travellers have set their minds to defying fate and daring to accomplish what, else, what no one else has been able to do before. Alas, the forest, alive with dark, deadly twists on some of our most well-known fairy tales, has a mind of its own. I like the sound of that. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Okay, and I have never heard of Catherine Purdy before, so... She is the number one New York Times best-selling author of the Burning Glass series and the Bone Grace duology. Never heard of them. Might check them out if this is good. Trained in classical acting, she studied in England and met her husband where they were cast opposite each other in the Shakespeare play. They now live in Utah with their children and their tiny dog Catherine also writes songs on her guitar for each of her stories and shares them on her website. Sorry, I really hurt it at Comic Con. What am I looking for? I am looking for the author letter, which is typed. So I'm still probably going to struggle to read it, but not as bad as when it's handwriting. Dear Fairy readers, this book in, is the wild indulgence of an author who was a girl at the library who checked out collections of fairy tales and tomes of mythology more often than ordinary fiction. The girl who drew fairies and costumed heroines in countless notebooks girl who wrote a play of Sleeping Beauty and made all her neighbourhood friends audition. The girl who watched The Fellowship of the Ring seven times in the movie theatre. I like this lady already. The girl who has always been smitten with magic. Fairy tales in and of themselves are often brief and feature bizarre rules of logic. Hair grows the length of towers, spindle causes fatal, fi fatal finger pricks, kisses awaken comatose princesses, but I am someone who wants to know why. A few years ago, I found myself daydreaming who want, uh, about all the ways I could twist Grimm's, several Grimm's fairy tales to be even darker and more romantic and most exciting, weave them into one tale with one shared magic system, which answered my why. It also sparked my story of 17-year-old Clara Thurn, my little red riding hood and her dangerous journey into the forest Grimm to save her mother and break the curse on her village. In the depths of the haunting forest, Clara encounters other villagers turned fairy tale characters. I like to think of this book as their combined origin story. At its core, the forest grim is about a girl who is full of life but also walks in the shadow of death. A girl who believes in fate but also wants to change it. A girl who is loved and is loving but also feels terribly alone. Clara stole my writer's heart and I adored telling her story. I hope you enjoy this adventure alongside her. I wish you every sign of good luck as you journey into the forest grim. Sounds good. So, on our little sheet, we've got the embroidery kit designed by Forensics and Flowers. Create your own piece of the Enchanted Forest with this embroidery kit. The design mirrors elements from our featured book cover. I'm glad I did not look at this first. The Mushroom Spoon, designed by at Blanca.design. The ceramic mushroom spoon is perfect addition to your curated cottage core kitchen. 
use it to manifest your own happily ever after. I don't know who... I don't know that many fairy loot readers would have a cottage core kitchen. Unless they're going to give us stuff to make cottage core kitchen. I don't know where the spoon's gone. Photo album designed by at Warwick Art. Ideal for storing your art prints, this album will make a striking addition to any shelf. A holographic foil touch adds an extra sprinkle of magic. The overlay set. Designed by CYT underscore draws. Slip these gorgeous overlay prints into your copy of Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett to make it even more magical. And bag clips. Designed by at blanka.design. These food clips are inspired by Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll and are perfect for keeping your reading snacks fresh. I knew it. And the tarot cards of the month. Features Sophia as the Three of Moons card and Constance as the Four of Moons card. The characters are from Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Byron and beautifully illustrated by at Rosalind Ars. So I didn't recognise them. I just thought I did. And... The Fairy Loot exclusive edition of our book has an exclusive cover, a reversible dust jacket and foil on the hard cover by at Rachel Bostick Illustration. Digital sprayed edges with a solid sprayed top and bottom edge. Foiled artwork on the end papers by a Ginny Philly or Gianni Philly at and a digital signature and exclusive bonus content. Don't forget to check out the author letter and character print on the other side also by Gianni Philly. So, yes, this is a really, really good fairy loot box. I'm liking it. I'm, I really like the embroidery kit. I know that sounds lame. That's like a super old person thing embroidering stuff. This looks nice. I'm wondering if they are going to do something to match it because there's like this little bit on the back. So it might like click on to the not click on but like they you can get oh no because of the mushroom on the door I was gonna say you can get cups you can like stick the spoon through and it will like stick on but the spoon is too big and the mushroom is too big but it doesn't matter it's cool I like it the clips are amazing really handy the book sounds great this is probably one of my favorite boxes from fairy Loo. like Honestly, I like everything in it. I like the folder for the art cards. Like, I think that is great because, like I said, I was kind of just tucking them in the start of my box, like in the front of my books um, for each monthly one. So I would basically be like this once I've finished reading them. I'd go like, wow. And then it would just live there forever. But then if we have like a nice thing... And there's loads. There's absolutely loads. They're all double-sided as well. It's good. I like it. I like the foil. It's so shiny. So pretty. Pink's on the move. Um, I, I think this is a really good box. I think it's great. Um, I might do what like the card said. And put these in my Emily Thede book. Uh, Emily Wiles. <laughs> Heifer. Thede. <laughs> I'm just mixing the names up now. Um, okay, and on the fairy scoop, where is it? So next month's theme is Alchemy of Us. We're so excited to reveal the November theme for our monthly YA box, and it is Alchemy of Us. Ancient alchemical magic has a way of weaving its embers into the world and most petri in the most petrifying ways. Dark magic always comes at a steep cost, but these transformations might amount to more than you bargained for. Are you willing to pay the price? <laughs> In this box, you can expect a multi-fandom Sarah J Mass item. But then it's got Throne of Glass, A Court of Thorns and Roses and Crescent City. So I don't know if it's going to be an item that's linked in all three of those books. And I have read all three, but I can't think of anything that's in all three specifically unless it is to do with Reese. Because he or Feyre, I can never remember how to, I can never work out how to pronounce her name. So I'm going to say Feyre. Because um, the... they're in Throne of Glass, but right at the end. 
but only as like a parting feature. I don't know, unless it's just like something Sarah J Mass has designed and they are just saying that this is the author of the things that she has written. Uh, an item we have never done before for our feature book of the month, Vampire Academy. And, oh, comma, Vampire Academy. And the next tome of our secret book series designed by At Chatty Nora. Very excited to reveal that we have worked with Morgana Zero Anagram for the multi fandom Sarah J. Mass item. Our featured book of the month is an East Asian high fantasy where our main character dreams of becoming a royal alchemist so she can provide for her family by making alchemical gold and gems for the wealthy to eat. Is everything all right? For her family by making alchemical gold and gems for the wealthy to eat. Okay, apparently the wealthy people eat gems in this book. Um, in order to stay young forever. We adore this book filled with political games, alchemy rules, and a dash of romance. The very exclusive edition will have an exclusive redesign cover by Curry underscore Huang, digital sprayed edges by Curry underscore Huang, foil on the hardcover by mm, Ingni, and artwork on the end papers by that same person, different front and back. The edition will also have a digital signature printed into the book and it will come with a letter from the author with artwork on the reverse. Sounds good. Sounds fun. Let's put that there. Um, I think this is a great box and I'm excited to read this book. I need to... I'm going to be starting a Lumen Crates book now that I've got through the Lock Libraries book and then I'll move on to this. Um, my reading list has like grown a lot <laughs> in the last week. So we'll see how things go. But yeah, I am super duper excited. Um, I think this is a great box. This is, I, I can't think of any fairy box where I have 100% liked every single item. There's been ones that have been good and have had things that I've liked, like the Belladonna glass that we got a couple of months ago. I thought that was great. There was other items in there, like stickers. I was a bit like, mm, I'm not really sure about this. Um, everything in here I will use and I love the embroidery kit. I just, I'm excited for that. To like sit down and play with it at some point. Probably not for a while because I get distracted super easily. But like just, it's a nice box. Um, Yeah, let me know what you thought. Um, What items are you most looking forward to? Um, Did you have any that you didn't like? Um. Are you looking forward to the book? Have you read it already? Um, no spoilers if you have, but is it good? I hope it's good. It sounds good. Um, and I'll see you for the next video. And if you have liked this, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, you'll get a notification next time I do an unboxing video. And yeah, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.